All right, uh, before I start this video, I just want to give a shout out to uh, the sponsor of the video and that is no one. I mean, guys, seriously, did you think that we I had a sponsor for this video? Come on, man, I wish I had a sponsor. But anyways, uh, let's just uh, start the video. Whether you are a noble from a great house which has produced great warriors throughout generation or a skilled samurai who vows revenge against the conqueror who is trying to invade your homeland or at the end of the day, you just want to be a badass samurai who wants to kill a whole lot of people with honor in fact and sometimes bow after doing it because that fills you up with immense amount of respect for your enemy and we all know that is true. I mean, come on, just admit it. If you don't get no respect, you might be a redneck. Respect is nice. But Ghost of Tsushima delivers all that and some more to make this experience as the best ever game made to represent the Japanese culture to the foreign audience. So now, let's talk about the audio visual of the game. This might be a little presumptuous of me, but I don't think it would be too far fetched to say that this is one of the best looking game ever made. And I know when it comes to graphics, I mean pure graphics, there are games which are much better like The Last of Us 2 and many more. But just in terms of the looks and the visuals where you the player are experiencing the game, this has to be hands down the best ever. And a testament to that is every single time I came across a location or a scene, I would get off my horse, go to the edge of the cliff and take like 50 to 100 pictures. Whether it may be changing the wind, changing the color, changing the photo or adjusting the photo, whatever it may be. I just wanted to take the most epic photos ever because it was so goddamn beautiful. And the way that the customization for all of this has been laid out, you know that they knew what a masterpiece that they had created. And to go along with the stunning visuals, they also have some epic sound effects and music as well. The roaring thunder whenever you are riding your horse across a wet tulip field, the change in soundtrack whenever you enter a different situation, or the amazing epic music that plays in the background to make you feel like a proper samurai in a medieval Japan. And to cap it all off, this game also has a feature where you can play the entire game in black and white. Just like the old samurai movies that we have come to love and the reason that they did this was because they wanted to pay an homage to the great Akira Kurosawa. So sucker punch for that, respect. So now let's talk about the story and the gameplay. You play as Jin Sekai, a samurai who alongside his uncle try to defeat the conqueror who is trying to invade your homeland. But when your efforts go bust, you leave behind the principles of a samurai to adopt a much more dangerous and ruthless persona to instill fear into the minds of your enemy as the ghost.
and i have to say it does deliver man i mean they really did deliver it the story at the start is a little slow and the pacing might be a little off in the beginning but later on it does pick up and the story gets ramped up even more and more and it's enjoyable through and through the transition of you turning from a samurai into a ghost and the internal conflict that goes on is thoroughly enjoyable from the story because in this game they truly capture what it means to be a samurai and what it means to be a ghost well the story might be good but what about the characters you may ask that's a warrior well i have to say the characters are equally good as well that you will like or maybe get bored of that is one place where i thought that they could have put in a lot more work to make the characters flush out a little bit but nothing that will ruin the experience for you so don't worry about the characters they are pretty good if not the best they are pretty good so the story is good and the characters are good but does it go with the gameplay oh man have i got some news for you the gameplay in this game might in fact be one of the best that i've ever played and when you play the game you can see that sucker punch has actually put in a lot of thought into the gameplay and especially the fight mechanics the complexity of using different stances against different enemies and also knowing when to parry or when to dodge makes this one of the best and most engaging gameplay that i've ever come across and also a small mention to the fear or terrify factor that they added to the fight mechanic that just adds another level of greatness to the gameplay and it actually makes you feel like you are the ghost who enemies fear but of course it's not perfect no game is perfect there are some glitches in this game but i feel like that is something they could fix in the next update at the end of the day if you haven't stopped binging on anime or akira kurosawa movies or started learning japanese or at least pretended to know how to speak japanese buenos dias hi me buenos dias miguel como esta bien claro que si yo soy fantastico que pasa Ha! Why not see us fight? Guten Tag, Herr Michael. After finishing this game, then my friend, I think you might have been playing the wrong game. Because Ghost of Tsushima delivers what it was expected to deliver, that is to make you feel like a proud, sophisticated samurai in medieval Japan who not only kills people with honor to protect others, but also helps you to realize that you are a goddamn poet and a good one at that. Kapoor and Kadesperate he watches. Second line. He is a drifter out to sea. And when the Indian Ocean calms, one speck of white remains in waters cold and kelly green. It's just so dumb. But when he describes himself as a child lost on a light raft. Ah, Ryan can never know. So don't mind all these reviews by those critics who just say that this is a repetitive game and all that fucking nonsense all right just play the goddamn game and get blown away by its spectacle okay this is saboteur saboteur not, i'm going to kill you for real this game the game is over i'm really going to shoot you so That's it guys for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my small review on Ghost of Tsushima. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment down below and also subscribe to the channel and also let me know what you guys liked fr from the game. I thought it was a pretty amazing game. I mean, I needed this after playing The Last of Us 2. I mean, don't get me wrong. I did like Last of Us 2, but I needed something simple but at the same time something wholesome and something that would like wow me. And this game truly ticked all those boxes for me. So that's it for this video guys uh, let me know what do you guys think again and uh, hopefully if you like this kind of videos I'll uh, keep on making this kind of review videos and yeah that's all i have to say and i'll see you in the next one peace